Well, I can, we can agree that most of us do hate it. Um, but can you guys imagine having to do laundry, um, having to wash our clothes one by one and by hand? Now, that would be a total nightmare, right? Well, um, today my object is a washboard. In Spanish, it's called the tabla para lavar o lavadero. Um, so this object, or objects similar to this one, were, have been used for many years before washers and dryers were invented. And um, they were used by many different cultures. Um, so first I'll be explaining how this artifact represents my culture. And then um, I will share with you guys the big significance it has to me. Um, so first I'll talk to you about the history of the washboard. Um, it goes back to ancient times. People would use, it all started with like a hard surface, so they'll scrub their clothes like with a rock. And um, then in 1797, um, the first washboard was invented. It looked a little similar to this, but it was made different. Um, then as time went by, different countries would, um, they adapted their own style of the washboard. Um, they would use a wood or metal or just rocks. This one that I have right here, it's made in Mexico and it has the wood frame and the metal. So this is the part where you like, you scrub your clothes. And of course, this is a small one, but there's like huge ones. Um, so this washboard represents to me how in the Mexican culture, women were, they were the ones who usually would do the chores. So my grandma would tell me how when it was time to do laundry, um, they would go out like to a river or a lake or a pond or wherever there was water and they would do the family's laundry and I know that when it's, when you hear laundry you think like oh like I hate it but they actually enjoyed this time away from home they got to socialize with other women and it was just fun to them um, so why identify with this culture um, when my parents came first came to the U.S. from Mexico, they didn't have money to buy a washer, so they would use a wash bro Well, my mom would use a washer like this one to wash my brothers and my clothes. And um, as the only daughter of my family, my mom taught me how to help with chores around the house. So she taught me how to wash clothes on this washboard. And while I, I would hate it, but it, it helped me appreciate how much of a hard worker my mom was. And especially my grandma, she had 11 kids, so you guys can imagine how many clothes she would be washing. She'd practically be washing clothes like all day long. And then um, this also, um, I, I, the way I identify to it, um, it just reminds me of all the bonding times I shared with my mom. Um, so today I hope you guys learned a little more about my cultural artifact and the history of the washboard and the importance it had to me and my culture. I hope you guys also learned the big significance it plays in many people's, um, the big role it plays in many people's lives. And there's still many people out there that continue to use a washboard like this one, since there's many countries out there that don't have money enough to buy a washer. And well, next time your mom asks you guys to help out with laundry, don't complain, guys. Um, all it takes is to throw your clothes in the washer and you can sit around and enjoy your time. <laughs>